Hey everyone, Brandon here from Snowball RC. Got a video about the BP Custom Chassis Bantam trailer. This trailer is brought to you by Two Change Scalers, BP Custom Chassis, and MB Custom or MB Creations. Uh, this thing right here is built solid. So I'm gonna tell you right off the bat, for 70 bucks, this trailer right here, uh, just the trailer kit, is 70 bucks for the five inch, 75 for the seven inch. And for the price, this trailer is built dang solid. Uh, you can feel it as soon as you pull it out of the bag. The nice clean bends and everything that once you put it together, uh, this thing is not going anywhere at all. I mean, this thing will last you for years before you probably have to do any sort of anything to it. Um, so, quick look around real quick. It's two wheels, so it's a little harder to balance out this is what I got so far I wanted to paint it up and everything and get it on the trail and a run at least one run out of it so I can show it to you guys and give you my full uh, opinion all in one um, I would buy this trailer for all of my rigs uh, right, straight up that's what I would do I mean this thing is that nice um, you can see how crisp and clean the bends are in here these are all machine bent I mean the holes are precision drilled every piece is looks like it was possibly laser cut uh, I mean everything was very clean I had to do no sanding of edges or anything on this trailer and here's underneath this is all steel this comes as raw steel so I would want to recommend that you paint it with something uh, don't just leave it because it will rust um, I used Rust-Oleum truck bed liner. It's got a finer uh, texture to it, so it's a little bit more of a scale look, and it'll give your uh, frame a little bit more protection. Uh, the tub itself is aluminum, all aluminum. The top does not come with it. I made that, just so you know. Uh, the hardware I chose to use because it was something that's probably going to get beat around quite a bit, dragging behind the rigs, is uh, Team K&K hardware. So I had some laying around from another build. So these are all Team K&K hardware. Uh, I will post, this trailer does not come with the hardware. So I will post a uh, list of what you will need minimum to get this assembled. Uh, so you can maybe just have it ahead of time or get it ordered, whatever you need to be. So check the description for that. Um, I chose to use just some tires I had laying around. These wheels are from SBC and were made basically for this trailer. Um, I think he has another few styles in the works. They are glue-on wheels, but they look good and they work just fine. They, they take a bearing on both sides. So, that, that's my, I gotta do a little bit of adjustment. That one's a little slow. This side spins way better. So, but anyways. That's just me. I need to do some adjustments. Like I said, I've only taken it out once uh, just so I can give you the full view of it. Um, the hitch is a uh, rod in. So on my hitch, I have an M3 bolt that sticks up and this just slips on there and I put the nut on top so I can take it on and off pretty easy. Safety chain uh, was something I did myself. Uh, just for the trail just in case this did break for whatever reason my trailer didn't take off also I leave my uh, my um, hitch a little bit loose so that if the trailer does decide to flip over it can just spin uh, in place and so with this chain as it spins it will also tighten and wrap around so it'll actually slow the trailer from rolling you know, should for some reason it decide to start spinning down the hillside or spinning behind you. Uh, it's, so it's got a couple functions that actually worked really well. Um, I got my SBC fuel can. All this stuff I'm showing you now comes is just extra stuff I did. I put some, uh, I believe it's RC four wheel drive diamond plate on the front. Got my propane, got the mount. Uh, this is my new rubber mount. This mount will not break ever. This tank will break before this mount does. Um, this is my SBC sand ladder. These are great and great construction, great feel, great look. So if you need a sand ladder, recovery ramp, whatever you want to call it, make sure you check out SBC. Uh, they're a great size. 
Um, I used some SCX10 uh, wire loops trimmed down a little bit to hold my sand ladder on there with a little bit of battery foam. You just unclip this, stand it up, it pops out of both of those, and then obviously reverse to put it back on. I'm not sold on the spare tire yet. I kind of like it and I kind of don't. It adds some weight to the trailer. The trailer is really light uh, because it is aluminum, which is good, but uh, you will notice pretty quickly that you want to add a little bit to it, you know, but to make it a li as light as possible initially out of the door is not a bad thing. That was a good idea so people can add and customize and make it as heavy or light as they want to. Um, the hatch I made out of styrene got the idea from uh, Elio from 2 Chains. Uh, so the reason I did that is you have all this storage space in here which you can see is a lot. And then I can also put stuff on top that I want more accessible while holding everything else that will be in here inside without losing it. Now this thing also comes with fender flares which I have not put on yet. So these would go, you know, wherever you want them. There are no holes pre-drilled under here. So it is a fit. You know, if you put a wider tire on or a bigger tire, you probably come up higher. You know, with my tires here, I could probably come up to, you know, about there before putting it on. But uh, these are, this is what the tub looks like raw uh, when you get it. It's this really nice aluminum. All machine bent. So, anyways. I would buy this trailer. I'm going to go ahead and say that straight up. I would buy it right now. If you have 70 bucks and you're looking for something new to add to your uh, crawling, I would buy it. Uh, it gives you a new learning experience, gives you another look. Um, for the axles, you got a few choices. Uh, you know, you could do your typical all thread and some brake tubing or something, make it work, whatever. Uh, this is the setup I have. It's got 3 16 inch steel rod threaded on the ends and these little rod clamps here on the sides and on the inside and uh, You can see that a little better and then they also have a new kit for it uh, for axles that I just saw today and it's little stub axles that mount here and come off the side and so you get all this clearance in the middle. This rod would not be here. So for me, the lowest thing hanging would be my tail lights. Uh, these do not come with it. I made those up myself. Um, I'm in the process of adding lights to everything. And another cool feature too is, depending on your tire size and such, you can actually move these hangers here to the inside or the outside of the frame. Um, and also there's a second hole here. You see that? And uh, that's for if you have like a 155 tire, you can just drop it down a little bit, get that nice low center of gravity, and make it look more scale. So, these will be on the BP Custom Chassis website again, so check that out. 70 bucks, I believe, for the uh, 5 inch, 75 for the 7 inch, and don't believe the axles are included. The hardware is not included. It is just the tub and frame pieces. I don't. I think you can buy the axle kit depending on what you want on there. Uh, I'm pretty sure you could buy the SBC wheels on there. If you can't, go ahead and hit up Scale by Chris, and I'm sure he will get them out to you. Uh, and yep, yeah, that's it. So hopefully you liked this video. Hit the like button the subscribe button if you have any questions comments etc please leave them in the comment section and i will get back to them as quickly as possible and uh we'll see you next time